So you had uh, Family Dollar on uh, Chelsea and Thomas than this site. On this site, uh, originally stood American Sound Studio. Well, uh, on the Monday, 13th of January, Elvis started recording here at the American Sound. Um, it was it was decided the week before. It was supposed to be in Nashville, but um, he was talked into it, depending on whose story you read. And it could be a mixture of both of them, but it was either George Klein or Marty Lacker, or a combination of the both that persuaded Elvis to record here at the American Sound Chip Moment Studio. Um, and Elvis started here on the 13th of January with, with long black limousines, so he's off to a good start. And it, uh, it only got better from there. And of course, the tracks for the Elvis in Memphis album were recorded here, which was a number 13. A number 13 in uh, hit in the US and a number one album in the UK. But uh, perhaps more significantly, the singles that were pulled from these sessions in the ghetto. Suspicious Minds, Don't Cry Daddy, Kentucky Rain, all um, reinstated Elvis to the top of the charts. It also produced the tracks, or at least the, the studio tracks, for the double album from from Memphis to Vegas, from Vegas to Memphis. One side was his... One side was a compilation of tracks from his Vegas season in the summer and the, the other album then was the studio tracks recorded here. So he recorded here from the 13th of January uh, on the Monday and Tuesday. He did have a sore throat on that uh, on those occasions. So following the Tuesday he didn't return back until the next Monday, 20th of January. Um, carried on recording uh, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday of that week. Uh, ending right on a highway Wednesday with Suspicious Minds was recorded. The session ended in a little bit of bad feeling with a bit of argument over the uh, publishing rights to the song. Of course, Colonel Tom Parker wanted all Elvis's tracks to be through their own publishing companies, but um, Chips Moman wasn't willing to let Suspicious Minds go. And eventually, eventually Elvis loved it so much that it was there was. Uh, Parker relented and uh, the song was uh, recorded, uh, of course, released with Chips Moman as publisher. Um, but it created a bit of bad feeling, but obviously not enough that uh, Elvis wouldn't return here back on Monday 17th of February to carry on recordings for those albums that I mentioned. Um, and he's carried on recording up until the Sunday the 22nd of February. On Wednesday the 5th of March 1969, Elvis reported for his last film, Change of Habit, and uh, the contracts were up anyway by then, but a uh, combination of perhaps his renewed enthusiasm for recording studio tracks, the fact that the contracts were over, and the fact that uh, the new Vegas contract had been signed, perhaps all contributed to that uh, Change of Habit actually being Elvis's last film.
probably the most famous studio in Nashville possibly RCA Studio B and there uh, next door was the building built in 1964 to become the main main RCA building of course became RCA Studio A and relegated the studio next to next door to be Studio B. Yeah. 